What's up guys? So today I'm coming back with a new video. It's been over a month since I last uploaded and today I want to show you guys this 100% play I call it netting me around $2,000 on my TOS account. Um, I want to be breaking down the setup as you guys know if you guys follow my Twitter I actually posted this setup last night um, cause, Calling for a short and we hit a yearly low today after rallying I think 80 points overnight and we erased all that hit yearly lows crazy crazy day today um, Obviously, you know learn it to the discord you, people in the discord already know how crazy the chat went today But without further ado guys, let's get into it. Let's look at the stats first made around twenty one hundred dollars put in around twenty one ninety got out for exactly uh, 100% missed out on a little bit of profit, but overall you guys can see the running P&L. It was around a 4 R trade. I planned for around a 4 R trade. I kept my stop super tight around a negative 10% loss. Um, my stop loss was uh, right under $2 per contract. I bought these at 2.19 um, and then my price target was $3 per contract. As you guys can see, we sold these bad boys for 438 um didn't trim a single time perfect execution 100 percent execution bought here sold down here so really really good play so setup we had was a breakout so we had a morning breakout but it was mainly a rejection off supply paired with a breakout so we had two levels of confirmation which really led me to take this play i took the same play except spx and a little further out on my main account my weeble with around ten thousand dollars and i've returned around 50 percent on that play i made around 5k on that i'll review that for another video same setup just more money um but this is really where you get to see that really really nice execution so you guys could see this was our entry this was our exit now 99% play we planned a 4 R trade very tight stop with a decent price target and you could see we realized around a 11.48 R multiple now that's not common for me at all I'm usually planning for a 2 R trade but today it's it, the contracts expired tomorrow I there's no zero DTs on spies on Tuesdays so for, I was in Wednesday contracts and I was able to plan a decent um, R multiple but you know it worked out in our favor and I'm glad it did so moving on let me show you guys the actual chart setup I'm gonna bring it down here and now here we have ES I always use ES to trade and if you guys know this was today leading up to market open so let me just annotate this for you guys so you guys are able to understand where we are in uh, the markets so right here this is market open this is when the markets about to open this is us going into market open so on the daily I recognized one thing I had this daily demand drawn out where we were previously bouncing from we held this demand and we were unable to break through if I go on to the hourly at the same point you guys are gonna notice one thing I had a supply zone drawn out from here to here and you guys can see we we're about to open up inside that hourly supply zone now I posted this exact spy zone on my um or ES zone on my Twitter and I said to watch out for this um, you know move and the main reason why is because I had a four-hour downtrend drawn I knew many of my followers are down or breakout artists and they love playing breakouts and you can see going into the market today and we did break out on the four hour so coming into market open I knew people you know they'd be like oh we broke out of this downtrend it broke out retest and it's gonna break out higher there was no real long for me until we held above 3731 which we didn't obviously today but let me show you guys the exact setup so we go in with this hourly supply zone we drew it out here because it was a rally a basing candle and a drop meaning their seller still left from this area because it was still such an aggressive uh, sell not all the sell orders got filled we pulled back same aggressive move pulled back in and now is where I'm a little bit more careful and I'm waiting for a setup so right off open you're gonna see this is market open I'm gonna speed it up so you guys can see what happens so right off open what do we have we have a huge move up grabs liquidity above our supply tries faking out bulls here and continues down right so it's gonna continue down and then you guys could see what ends up happening now in this area right basically what I'm looking for here is once we retested this downtrend and bounced back up and we pulled back into supply I noticed that we had a small uptrend we had a small uptrend now let me just move this back to here 
we had a small uptrend and you could see it created sort of a bear flag if people like to call it a bear flag a rising wedge whatever you want to call it we entered this play at 11.24 we entered around here this candle right here so once we take take out these lows so i'm going to move this to that 11.34 level once i draw out our shout out to my boy Jaden. but once we draw out this is the opening print that we had at 9 30 so this is where the opening print was you can see we held it broke rejected and then we started to chop through it i'm um, telling me if i go here chop through tell me that okay opening price is not really an air uh, not a magnet anymore for price since we did just break or held we held it broke under rejected it broke above held and then we chopped through three times right so now i entered at around 11 25 go to 11 25 you guys are going to be able to see what happens here right right here the reason i entered at 11 25 is we took out this low right we took out this low here previously where the market came down rejected right and take note where we're at we're at that downtrend line obviously perfect entry would be up here but you know i can't be perfect all the time guys i mess up sometimes and obviously my entry would have been a lot better here but the reason why we had the entry here uh actually the entry was here the reason why we had the uh entry at 11 24 let me get to that exact time right here is because you'll see we stopped we closed a candle under this downtrend we drew you could see that downtrend was holding all day we had holds over here held over there held here held here once we take out that low that we created where we held that uh, downtrend breakout you can see we broke under here this was my entry and now you're probably wondering shinobi you're breaking your rules and i'm gonna ask you what it what that is you're gonna be like you're shorting going into daily demand why are you shorting into demand you guys know i call people who short demand idiots why were you being an idiot shinobi let me tell you guys why we go into the daily here all right this was a fresh demand zone we had one two three this is our third time testing this demand at around these same levels and we're breaking lower right that's telling me hey this demand is losing those buy orders those buy orders are getting filled they send it up sellers send it right back down so i was more comfortable taking because i know the more times a zone is touched means less orders are at that area telling me it's going to continue down or you know have one small little bounce and then continue down so that's exactly what happened I was targeting the bottom of this zone at around 3640. This was my price target. So if we go and we draw out my risk to reward off my short position, my risk was right above the top of this candle. My reward was all the way down here around, as you can see, 4.9 risk to reward. Our R multiple was four something um, based off the contracts. I'm gonna hit play again. And you guys are gonna see, look at that. Look at where our price target hit. Look at how well the price movement was. The market flushed down, hit our zone down the, to the very cent, bounced exactly from that level. And if I play, you'll see it gets under a little bit. And then what ends up happening? Absolutely nothing. We almost sold the dead bottom. We planned properly. We had a proper entry, which could have been a little better. Proper entry proper stop loss and a really nice price target and i didn't have any trims along the way because i knew that we would get rid of all this area here guys all of this area here all the orders that were sitting at this level have already been filled pretty much because the market came down grabbed these audible orders multiple 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 times and send it higher every single time so i knew that there's not much demand left in this area and we should be able to flush down to the lower parts of the zone where we haven't tested before and you can see that's exactly what happened and i had a feeling they would might they might send it down a little more just to really mess up the late bears people that were trying to short the low of the low of the year breakout here i knew they would end up getting messed up and that's why i was taking calls um at this breakout here inside demand we had a downtrend breakout in demand my entry was here we had a 10 percent trim here and then i'm swinging the rest and you're probably wondering shinobi that's bullshit let me show you guys right here we had the puts here swinging these uh these spx puts and you can see here <laughs> suey 100% SPX and SPX is 40% and then I sold SPX for 45% here added 99 uh, 
385 calls at 99 cents 10 percent here trim at 249 249 is right here this candle so guys that was my recap of my 100 percent trade i had on spy today and i know it's a little all over the place the video but guys appreciate you guys if you guys still stuck around with me after this month break um coming back to take over the educational game on youtube and twitter again i had to take a little break had to you know just focus up on trading we had an amazing month so far guys locking in around 30k worth of profit so far and yeah i appreciate you guys staying here make sure you guys drop a like subscribe and comment down below any new video ideas or anything you're struggling with that i can help you with appreciate you guys i'll see you guys in the next one